hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to continue our uh, react tutorials about making a website okay so guys uh, as i have made few changes on the navbar just a simple code i have added with the background black and i have kept this navbar into a container okay so this is the change from the previous video from now so guys now we w what we want to do we in this video we are going to cover the topic of how to link the image in react app okay so react js so guys now let's get started so let me just show you about that navbar design so i have just took the navbar background and bg dark navbar dark where shadow i have added into a container of column of 12 okay and simple then kept the navbar inside in it so that that was the change that's it and now guys let's begin with that so uh yes guys so for example we will move on with the slider so i wanted to tell that we are going to link the image so to link the image we need one thing right image tag so let's go a demo with the slider one so let's go to our getbootstrap.com documentation and over this we are on the 5.0 version okay so let's type carousel c o r o u s e l carousel okay so let's click on that and let's see the carousel comes over here and now guys you can see a demo over here so this is one static demo and over here you can see some images right like sliding thing so let's move on with the third option where you can get this all this labels and all and with the image slider where you get this bottom also right so let's copy this demo so let me click on copy and now let's paste this into our slider okay so guys now let's create one folder inside inc where i want to create on not folder a file so slider.js and inside this slider i am going to paste the code so how will we cannot paste directly so what we have to do is that we have to call a function into it so let's just control x and let's call the react so import react from your react okay react and then need to call the function of slider function open close curly braces that is floor bracket and here you are going to return it return function okay so it's just brackets not curly brackets and now your code will be pasted here so once this is done let me just arrange this in a simple format okay so now when you have created this slider so let's export this so we need to export so let us export default of your slider that's it so there is some error so guys let's see what the error is about okay so as you can see let me hover on this jsx element div has no closing tag so inside this where there is no closing tag closing tag means you have to give a forward slash so let me just check with that okay so we are able to find that on the image tag we don't have a closing tag so let's give control d and just give add forward slash before the close tag let's save it and you can see there is no error so the error comes only because of this most of the time so now it's set and you can see the export default export default slider done and now guys we have to link the image so first step you have to how do you link over here so first you have to call from this path so guys before importing the link of your image you have to store into this images folder as we have created in the beginning so i have kept one image with the react only so let me just copy this image and include into my funda app folder okay so as you can see that this is a funda app inside this src i'm going to on the components inside components i'm going to images where i will post this as slider1.jpg okay so this is the image now so guys now let's get back so now move to our vs code and then let's call that path so as you can see in this folder you are getting that slider one now guys, let's continue so over here is let's import your slider 
one you can tell oops so let's remove this slider one from the path so the path is about so right now your slider.js is currently over here so one step you are going back and then going to images folder and then you are getting that right so let's give double dot forward slash you are now out of the folder now let's call it images folder forward slash and then your slider dot slider one dot jpg jpg done and let's save this so guys now you are going to use this so let's copy this and call into your image tag so let's remove this double quotes and the whatever it is inside that so just src is equal to curly brace open close inside that curly brace you are going to paste done simple so now guys what we have to do just copy this and paste wherever you require images so let me just paste the place of the image src saved and now guys let us execute and see so my npm is already started so you can see over here so let us just refresh this page okay so it's not coming why it's not coming because you have not linked this slider page into your home page okay so let's call this slider and into your home page because we don't want into all the pages home page about page contact page you don't want right so we need only in home page so let's include this file slider into your home page so guys you can see that home.js file is over here if you're not able to understand please watch out the series from beginning so it will be very clear and understandable so it's now let's include it okay and now inside this container i am going to paste that slider oh, not inside the container so let's not inside the container. we have to create one div called let's create one dummy div just without classes okay and this div will be at the bottom so let me just cut and paste over here and over here your home page section is there right so react always needs a wrapping tag so it should be all things will be inside one div tag done so guys now let's include the slider so how will you include that so let's first import with the name called slider from the file name so the file name is inc so you are in the home page so let's get back one step and then go to inc and then get the slider so let's get back one step back and then move to inc folder inc means includes folder okay and then get the slider and dot js not required to type because this will understand react can understand that it's a js file so guys now let's copy this slider and paste over here so just paste and forward slash close the tag as simple so let's save this and now you can see some changes on the website so let's refresh it again you can see cool so you can see the output right so now your image is imported perfectly on your home page so guys let's continue about the website designing in next video about how to design some sections for home page and then about us page and one simple contact page so in contact page we'll be learning about input tags and all so before that we have to complete this home page designing about page designing just small small design so guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share